Good evening, everyone. So over the weekend, actually this past week rather, I was speaking with one of my good friends about how investment fees really hurt the investment performance of, of like say your retirement account. Um, we were comparing like using a financial advisor with a little bit more fees, say like one and a half percent, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, and comparing that to a, an ETF, like an index fund ETF like the SPY. So I thought it would, what better idea would it be to create a video for you guys to explain the difference, uh, not so much the difference, but like how do fees actually impact your investment performance? And I think this, this cartoon video that I created, um, first time doing it, so <laughs> go easy on me. I think it's gonna help explain and uh, make the decision clear for you guys if you're worried, wondering about getting a financial advisor or just investing in a, a low cost index fund, it will answer that question for you guys. So enjoy the video. Welcome to my latest YouTube video where we're gonna talk about the effect of fees on your investment return. Let's take Scott for example. He's a full-time software engineer, but he has a financial advisor that does his investing. Scott meets with his financial advisor, Lisa, every quarter to go over his finances. His advisor, Lisa, recommends Scott put his money in an actively managed mutual or target date fund. What Scott doesn't know is the investment vehicle Lisa suggested has a fee of 1.5% per year to cover the expenses in the fund and to compensate Lisa. Brian, on the other hand, knows that over 90% of mutual funds do not beat the overall market. He finds a low-cost ETF that tracks the S&P 500 that has an annual fee just under 0.1% per year. Both Scott and Brian set up weekly deposits of $115 into their Roth IRAs that get automatically invested. Scott invests in the 1.5% fee mutual fund and Brian invests in the 0.1% SPY ETF. Let's see how fees can negatively compound your investment return. The results are in for a span of 30 years with an average return of 7%. Both Scott and Brian saved $174,000. Scott's retirement fund is now worth $442,247. Brian's retirement fund is now worth $566,764. By just investing in a low-cost index fund, Brian saved $124,517 more than Scott did since Scott lost 1.4% to fees every year. Scott finally figured out how much he was losing to fees and realized he had to do something about it. Scott met up with Brian for advice on what to do. Brian mentioned that he should fire his financial advisor, Lisa, after explaining how fees impact investment performance, especially as you save more money. Brian told Scott to set up weekly deposits to be automatically invested in a low-cost index fund like the SPY ETF. Scott is now on his way to save more money for retirement. 